Hello friend. So as you've seen in the title, I'm going to be trying Abby Sharp's vegan plant-based recipes for the day. If you don't know, Abby is a registered dietitian and she reviews a lot of YouTubers who talk about what they eat in a day, which has been really helpful for me as someone who kind of fell into the not so healthy vegan space in the 2016, 2017 era of YouTube where people were eating bananas all day. <laughs> so it's definitely helpful to see what she has to say. She is not vegan or plant-based at all, but she does talk about how there are ways to eat a vegan and plant-based diet. So I really appreciate her perspective as an expert in the field. And if you're new here, I talk about a sustainable lifestyle on my channel. I review a lot of sustainable products and I wanted to incorporate more plant-based food things into my channel. I am not saying you have to be vegan to do your part for the planet. I did get all of these recipes from Abby's blog, abbyskitchen.com. So I will have those all linked down below in the description box. You can check them out. I do want to say that I'm not going to like explain all of the recipes to you because they are not my recipes. Recipes. So let's test this out. Let's see what some of her recipes are starting off with breakfast. The first recipe I'm trying is a sweet potato breakfast bowl. And with the sweet potato comes a yogurt and she recommends an almond yogurt, which is very surprising to me. I don't know. I would have never put together yogurt and sweet potato. It seems like such opposite things that you want to keep separate, but that's what's in the recipe. It's definitely outside of my comfort zone, but let's give it a shot. This would be so good with yogurt because yeah that's like what this is missing this is really good though i'm excited to make this for breakfast i would give this like a nine out of ten honestly because it's something that i would never put together the flavors are totally there and i love how it's not super strict on like measurements and it's really up to you how much you want to eat so yeah, I would give it a 9 out of 10. Is it like out of this world? Oh my god, the most amazing breakfast I've ever had? No. But yeah, we'll see how lunch is. I'm gonna go finish this up though. Okay, so I'm back. It's a different day from the first <laughs> breakfast recipe I tried because I found fraudulent purchases on my credit card and I had to deal with reporting that, getting a new credit card and all of that fun jazz. So anyways, we are gonna start off with this new day with a broccoli, what is it called? It's called a vegan roasted broccoli salad and it has some sort of like orange dressing on it. So I'm very excited to try this. That sounds great. And I feel like sometimes you just need a dedicated meal with a ton of greens. Obviously not every meal. I'm gonna be like, yes, salad, greens, let's go. But sometimes you just crave greens. So I'm excited to try this out. Okay, let's finally try this out. 
I'm gonna mix it together first. So it's definitely modified, like I said. But I think that's important to recognize that you don't have to make everything perfectly. And you can take inspiration from other recipes. That is so good. That dressing, oh my gosh, so good. Abby, you have outdone yourself. Honestly, I would give this a 9.5 out of 10. Of course, this is like on my scale of cooking my own meals. If I'm trying something at a restaurant, it's gonna have its own scale. It's not gonna even compare to food that I make by myself. But I will say, I am a sauce gal through and through. And when there is a good sauce on food, on a meal, it totally makes it for me. It just ups the flavor so, so much. That's something I've really learned, incorporating more plant-based vegan food and meals into my life, is that you need flavor with vegan and plant-based food. You need flavor, you need spices, you need sauces. You can't be bland with this stuff, folks. You cannot be bland, but this is definitely not bland and it was not a sauce I would ever put together and it was, uh, Delicious. Highly, highly, highly recommend that one. Hello. So it's nighttime and I'm going to be making Abby's fettuccine Alfredo recipe. That was my favorite meal as a kid. So I'm definitely biased. I know the vegan version is never going to taste the same as normal Alfredo. So I'm just expecting more of a creamy goodness because I love any sauce that is creamy in general and I don't have fettuccine. But I do have this chickpea pasta, so I'm just gonna use this instead because it did call for chickpea pasta. It'll do the job, so let's get right into it. Time we try it out. I did sub a few things. I added more spices. I added some fresh um, basil into the food processor as well. This is hot. Oh, hot. Hold on. It's good though. Honestly, it tastes like any like pasta sauce that you make out of cashews. It just gives you that creamy goodness and it tastes really good. This is great. This Alfredo was super good, but I will say, this is kind of a more newbie recipe. Someone who's new to plant-based or vegan meals and food in general, because as someone who has tried a lot of vegan and plant-based pasta sauces over the years, a lot of them call for cashews. And it's super tasty. A lot of cashew sauces taste pretty similar, especially when a lot of them call for nutritional yeast and cashews. So I will give this one like a 7.5, a seven out of 10. It wasn't out of this world, amazing. And I've had a lot of these, so it wasn't like anything extraordinary. But I will say, if you are someone who has never tried a cream sauce made out of cashews, this is a great recipe to try. I loved these recipes. Like I said, the dinner recipe is a great one for newbies. It's definitely one that I've tried over the years. Not the exact recipe, but something similar. And the other two, I totally love. I get so uninspired sometimes when cooking and I get kind of in a rut. So sometimes I just need to get outside of my comfort zone, try a recipe that is just something I have never tried before. These recipes are so, so good. So I highly recommend checking out Abby Sharp in Abby's Kitchen. If you guys are interested in more plant-based videos, let me know. I know this is something kind of new for my channel. If you're not into it, also let me know in the comments. I'm not gonna be offended, but I hope you guys really like this video. And if there are other videos you want to see in the future, let me know. Just remember, you don't have to be perfect to live sustainably. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.